it's time for you to get to know the Team USA wrestling team going overseas in Nur Sultan this upcoming week. I will be diving into each of the three styles of wrestling, women's freestyle, Greco-Roman, and men's freestyle in that order, just giving you a little bit of what each team is about, who has meddled before, and how they may do uh, at this upcoming event. First of all, talking about women's freestyle. Women's freestyle, there are seven returners on this team who have medaled at world championships in the past. So that is pretty incredible. Seven of these women have. 15 of those medals among the team, uh, there are 15 medals. And six of those medals have come from one person, and Adeline Gray, six total medals. Now, Gray has actually won three world titles, 2018, 2015, and 2014, and she is the only woman on this team to have competed in the Olympics. She competed in Rio in 2016, so it's going to be exciting to see how she does. Now, there are, as I said, other medalists on the women's freestyle team. Who are they? First of all is Whitney Condor, and she finished ninth in 2014, and she actually did not place last year her most recent event she did not place but she holds a spot that she may be placing at this event if she wrestles well enough then as sarah hildebrand sarah hildebrand it was a silver medalist in 2018 i'm excited to see how she does this year hopefully making it back to the finals jakar winchester placed fifth last year ali reagan silver in 2017 she has placed in the past before that She's another woman who I would like to see make it to the finals and possibly come home with a gold medal. I think the women's team this year is just loaded and has a very strong chance of winning gold as overall as a team uh, for our country. Forrest Molinari it placed fifth last year in 2018 and. Tamara Stock was a bronze medalist last year. Now, the other wrestlers who it's their first time on a world team is Jenna Burkert and Kayla Miracle. Both of these women, I'm so excited to see wrestle. Uh, Miracle, of course, beat the former women's uh, placer in uh, bronze medalist Mallory Velti. She plays bronze, but Mer Kayla Miracle actually beat her at Final X this year. So that is a loaded team. That's your women's freestyle team. Now let's move on to the men's Greco-Roman. Before we get into the men's freestyle, Greco-Roman team, there are actually five returning world team members. In Havazov, uh, Ellis Coleman, Pat Smith, uh, D'Angelo Hancock and Adam Kuhn. Adam Kuhn is the big dog, I guess not necessarily just by his weight, but as far as how he has wrestled in the past. Kuhn is the only world medalist on the team. He placed silver last year, and he's a guy to really look out for this year. I'd like to see a couple of these other guys, you know, especially returners, place this year. It'd be great for to really grow the sport of Greco-Roman wrestling in the United States. I, I know it's already you know big, but it's not as big as it is in other countries. And seeing guys like Kuhn really bring this style of wrestling to the forefront is great for Greco-Roman wrestling. And now what a lot of you have been waiting for is the men's freestyle team. Who is on this team and who has medaled in the past? How could they do? Well, before we get into that, I want to invite anybody who's new to Fanker Wrestling to go ahead and hit subscribe. Maybe you've been here before. Maybe you've watched a couple of videos or maybe it's just your first time we talk all about wrestling news tips and lifestyle here and if you like that and if you're a wrestling fan you're going to love this channel now men's freestyle there are three olympians three one two three olympians on this team and seven returning world team members six of those world team members have actually medaled before so six out of ten have medaled before which is incredible and jordan burrows is of course one of the biggest names on this team one of the biggest names in wrestling right now it's his ninth straight appearance in a world or olympics uh world level event which is unbelievable now there are two olympic golds on this team two olympic gold medalists and that's jordan burrows and kyle snyder both of these guys have one gold and there are nine total world gold uh championships Four of those, four alone, are from Jordan Burroughs. And a couple, we'll get into who else has them. Uh, of course, there's Dake, there's Cox, and Snyder. Each of those ha guys has a world gold medal under their belt so far. As far as going back to college, so there are six NCAA champs on this list. And from those six, there are 17 NCAA titles and three Hodge trophies. This lineup is 
stacked. I cannot wait to see what they're going to do. But who are the other medalists on this team? Well, James Green was a silver medalist in the past in 2017. And Nick Wazdowski was a bronze medalist in 2017 and 2018. Now Rutherford, Zane Rutherford, of course, with all the drama going down, which has happened this entire summer with Final X and who's making Team USA, Zane Rutherford has been on a team in the past, but he did not place in 2017. Now, other guys to note, one of these guys is Dayton Fix. Dayton Fix has been on world teams in the past, junior world teams, cadet world teams, just not a senior level team just yet. He is a national finalist this past year. Of course, he was in the finals with Nick Suriano, and he's actually a junior world champ. So he's got the talent to bring he's got the freestyle flow to bring it to this next level we'll see how he does tyler graff it's his first time on the team he beat the bronze medalist and joe cologne he beat him at final x and you know it, it just shows good vibes for graff and then of course is pat downey pat downey battled his way through the world team trials to face david taylor unfortunately the magic man was injured and could not wrestle but that doesn't make Pat Downey any less capable of wrestling.